Hello everybody and welcome back to the Waiver Wave. I'd like to start this episode by symbolically pouring one out for all of the Alvin Kamara owners that lost last week. <laughs> With Kamara, it was tough because that injury happened during the game. There was another injury that might have big impacts on your fantasy season that happened, but we have time to prepare for it. That injury is Carson Wentz. If you're a Carson Wentz owner, he probably got picked up around week three and he has brought your team all the way to this point. And now you don't have anyone else. Well, I have three guys in three different scenarios that can help you replace the giant gaping hole that is Carson Wentz. My first option off the waiver wire is a temporary streamer pick for this week only and that's Jimmy Garoppolo. Old handsome Jimmy G has fit right in in San Francisco and has 627 yards in his first two games as the quarterback. Next week, he gets Tennessee. Tennessee has allowed quarterbacks to throw for four touchdowns in a game on three different occasions this year. As he becomes more and more acclimated to the offense and he becomes more and more comfortable in the system, Jimmy G's numbers will continue to improve and he has a great chance to be an explosive player next week. After that, he gets the Jags and Rams who rank amongst the top in pass defenses. So if you're going for Jimmy G, you're only going for this one week streamer. If you're looking for a long-term fix that can help your team throughout the playoffs, it's going to be Blake Bortles. Yes, I said it. It wasn't that long ago that Blake Bortles carried people all the way to the championship. In fact, it was only two years ago. He did that using bad matchups and explosive wide receivers. Well, he finds himself in the same position yet again. In the next two weeks, he faces Houston and San Francisco, two teams that rank number two and three in most fantasy points given up to quarterbacks this season. They've both given up an average of 20 points. I'm not saying start your franchise with Blake Bortles, but if he's available on the waiver wire, you could do a lot worse than replacing Wentz with a guy who has a pretty safe floor and a pretty high ceiling in these matchups. Next on my list is a quarterback that you're only using for championship week, and that's Mitch Trubisky. Now I know what you're thinking. Tim, how the hell am I supposed to have Mitch Trubisky as my starting quarterback in championship week? Well, if you're a Wentz owner, you gotta do what you gotta do, and the matchup is ripe. Trubisky is coming off not only his best fantasy game of the season, but also his best game in his entire NFL career. If he continues to progress, he gets the Browns in week 16. The Browns have allowed 26 passing touchdowns, the most in the NFL. Get championship Mitch on your squad today. Besides those quarterbacks, I have three pickups that can make a big difference going forward. The first one is Theo Riddick. During Theo Riddick's history, it's simple. If Amir Abdullah does not play, Theo Riddick is a good fantasy player. He has shown that his last two weeks. He's a threat on the ground. He's a threat in the air. He could be a threat in your flex spot. Monitor the Abdullah injury. If he continues to miss practices, Riddick is someone that not only needs to be rostered, but someone that could be played on a championship roster. Continuing my Jaguar love, my second guy is wide receiver D.D. Westbrook. D.D. was the talk of the town when he returned four weeks ago, but put up two fantasy duds. Well, since then, he's gotten more acclimated to the offense, and he's been very productive in his last two games. We just went over those matchups the Jaguars have with the next two weeks, the Texans and the 49ers, both of which get burned in the air. I think D.D. Westbrook is not only a good pickup, but a good wide receiver three play if you're missing a guy. And finally, another injury dependent back is Kerwin Williams. Without AP, Kerwin Williams is a volume runner that gets many touches and has had back-to-back 10-point -back games in half-point PPR leagues. Whenever there is a starting running back available on the waiver wire and he's only owned in 11% of Yahoo leagues, there should be no reason why he shouldn't be on your bench right now. Pick up Kerwin Williams, and if something happens to one of your running backs next week, guess what? 
you'll have a starting volume getting runner that could take his place. That's all for the waiver wire this week. I will see you next week for your championship waiver show. Congratulations if you made it to the promised land. For this and everything yearly fantasy, going over every single fantasy relevant player, check out the Brodo Fantasy Podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. Of course, check out the Mothership Veterans Minimum. And until next time, I give you the wave. You just gotta ride it.